The advanced reactor race is heating up and each developer promises that their reactor will change everything. The Alo Atomic We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Isn't just talking. They're making bold claims that they will be the first advanced nuclear power plant to achieve criticality aka turn on. Founded just two years ago, Austin-based ALO Atomics has one goal, power AI data centers with clean energy. Their model is called the ALO Pod, a 50 megawatt sodium cooled reactor, which is really just a cluster of five of their 10 megawatt ALO-1 reactors. ALO's design pumps liquid sodium metal through the reactor core to absorb heat from the nuclear fuel, which is a more efficient conductor than water or gas, and it operates at low pressure. Now, it should be noted that no nuclear company has achieved regulatory approval of an advanced non-water-based design. This is partly due to a catch-22. The NRC won't give you a license without nuclear test data, but it's hard to get this test data without a license. It seems like a broken system, but ALO found a clever workaround. The DOE has been developing a research micro reactor called Marvel at Idaho National Lab, which is a 100 kilowatt reactor that looks remarkably similar to ALO's. And that's because it is. <laughs> ALO's CTO is the project lead behind Marvel, so instead of starting from scratch, they're basically building a commercial version of Marvel that produces a hundred times more power. But to prove that this bigger design works, ALO is building their own experimental reactor called ALO-X right next to Marvel at Idaho National Lab. They'll be able to compare data between reactors to prove that their scaling approach is effective and safe, meaning that the government gets its valuable data and ALO gets the test results for NRC approval. This strategy has already attracted serious attention. ALO was selected by the DOE to participate in the Federal Nuclear Reactor Pilot Program, and they've also attracted 100 million in Series B funding. And they inked a deal with Urenco that will make them the first advanced reactor to receive fuel in 2026. If ALO pulls this off, they'll prove that the fastest path to advanced nuclear deployment isn't reinventing the wheel. It's scaling up the government's best research with some smart engineering.